Hello everyone from Swenson RV and Marine in Bismarck, North Dakota, where we will be taking a walk around this new Rockwood Mini Light. It is a 2513, so if you're familiar with the Mini Light series, they go from about 20 feet to 25. It, so this is one of the larger layouts of the Mini Light. Anything larger would be putting you in the Ultralight series. Uh, but we will take a quick walk around this one. So the 2513 is the front bed, rear living space uh, layout with a rear outdoor kitchen. You will see right now I have the fridge and then the two burner stovetop. There's also a griddle that comes with that would attach on there, swing around. Your LP connect is right underneath that light there and the propane connect for uh, your griddle is underneath there. You also still get uh, a outdoor plumbed uh, sink in here as well with some more storage. Rockwood does use Asdell siding in all of their campers, all the way from their Geo Pro lineup up to their signature. So what that is, is Asdell is the easy way to describe it is kind of a recycled pop bottle cap material. So nothing moisture absorbent like the old uh, plywood backed laminate uh, fiberglass in the past. It is also a foam insulation with aluminum framing. So very structurally sound, will be a great quality and last you a long time. Very large power awning that goes the entire length of the unit with your two exterior speakers up top there and a V-Connect. So if you wanted to move your TV from inside outdoors while you're camping or cooking, you certainly can. Underneath there, of course, is the plug-in for the power and your uh, antenna or cable hookup for that TV outside. And what this rail system, if you're not familiar, is for tables or different attachments on the side there as well. You'll notice all of Rockwoods have that, so if we jump over to the 2509, uh, their fifth wheel back there that we have, and then a couple of our other ones that are over there are all going to have that as well. Something else that's really nice is it is a spring-loaded screen door, so if you are outside without the AC running in the earlier or later part of the season, you can let that go and it will close on its own for you. They also include the nice solid steps. So you don't have anything that's just uh, wedging off the side. Nothing that's gonna cause the trailer to flex as you're walking in and out. Definitely nice for stability. And then it does have the nice large handle on the side there. Pass through storage on this one under the bed compartment. Now we'll, enough with the outside, let's jump inside. So all of your controls are gonna be right inside the door with your radio and DVD player, uh, as well as all your lights, uh, black water, fresh water, all of that readings there. Underneath here is gonna be your solar panel readout. So all of the Rockwoods 2022 and newer are gonna come standard with a 180 watt solar panel up top uh, with a thousand watt inverter in it. So nice if you had to bump up that power to say charge a laptop or something larger, or if you like to video game while you're camping, give that extra boost there for power, as well as storage drawers right as you walk in the cabinet. Great place to throw keys, things like that, so they're not lost. Your pop-up power outlet with the two USBs. If you need more counter space, drop that down, make it flush with the counter, as well as your sink cover there. Behind me here is a nice pantry, and then below that is going to be a fireplace. Uh, nice as a secondary form of heat as well. This unit does have two slide outs. The one in the bedroom area is for the wardrobe on the side. So if the weather does get kind of nasty and you don't want those slides out, the only thing that will happen is you'll have to enter from the other side and it won't be a full walk around bed, but really nice to have that extra storage space uh, for clothes or different items while you're out camping does also have the V, at least I call it the V, kind of hanging rod system. So that way, as you're towing it down the road, your clothes aren't swinging and sliding all over the place, dropping off of hangers. They stay nice and uh, solid where they're at. Outlets on either side of the bed. Great if you're somebody similar to me and have to have, you know, sleep apnea machines or things like that, as well as charging ports on either side. You do have another spot for a, another TV to be mounted here. 
uh, as well as the hookups there. But the main TV that comes with is right above the kitchen area. It is, of course, on a swivel. And like I was mentioning before, that V bracket there. So if you wanted to pull this and move it outside, you certainly can. Focusing on here, you do have your nice large dinette that is on the slide, as well as your nice drawers that will pull out. And then if you're from the outside, that whole back storage part is not wasted space. There's a storage area for that too. And then with it being a rockwood and them loving to frame everything out in aluminum, anything that holds weight, so like the seat bench of the, let's see if we can get a camera angle from it. No, nope, it looks like the drawer is too flush there. And of course they, well, we can see here, if you look right through there, you can see that aluminum framing there. So any place that is going to be holding weight is going to be aluminum framed as well for more security and more stability. When you jump up to the mini light, so if you're familiar with the Geo Pros, you get a larger fridge when you jump into the mini, mini light series. They are still a 12 volt fridge, so they take advantage of that solar that is up on top. You don't have all of the inconveniences that come with the propane based refrigerators. Uh, that are going to have to be 100% level to work efficiently and they also struggle with high elevation where when you go to a 12 volt fridge you don't have to worry about any of that uh, and they actually cool down a lot faster so if you're prepping for the weekend plug it in she'll cool down awfully quick more storage location to the side so plenty of storage in this unit oh and then here would be like your access panel for some of your winterization and the bathroom. So we'll jump back here. Nice large bathroom. The back part of the cabinet or back part of the camper. Of course, on the back side of this wall is going to be that outdoor kitchen. So up top here, plenty of storage for towels or you know extra utility uh, bathroom stuff. And a nice medicine cabinet here. Nice tall shower. For those of us over six feet tall, they do give you a skylight to work with so you don't have to bend over as much. And then something else that's really nice, if you find yourself camping off of using the water tanks instead of having a water hookup, you do have this water saving system. It's the shower miser, the aqua view. What that is, is this tube right here well as you can see it's kind of a opaque color right now uh it will basically turn a white color when the water hits 90 degrees so you can it'll recycle from your fresh water uh or from your fresh water tank into your hot water heater and then back into the fresh water tank until it hits 90 degrees then you just switch this lever and you have hot water right away jumping back to the kitchen because i feel like we skipped over that you do have a nice three burner stove top with a oven down below, additional drawer storage on this side. So great for, of course, you can see utensils, uh, different places to stash uh, plates, cups, things like that. So plenty of storage in this unit with a microwave up top and yet more storage. So since we're pointing on the microwave and the AC, and I know I've mentioned the solar several times, pretty much the only thing that the solar system will not run uh, on this unit is going to be your AC and your microwave. For that, you are gonna want some form of shore power or an external generator to bring along with too. But otherwise, if you didn't have those hookups and you are boondocking this unit, you can run all weekend long just off of the propane and the solar and have cold food in the refrigerator, be able to run your oven and stove off the propane. Pretty much, you just won't be able to use the microwave to hook up meals quick and you don't wouldn't have the ac so if it gets really hot that is something to consider there as well all led lights throughout as well as ducted ac uh in the main area as well as if you see in the bedroom you have the ducts and your main vent, uh, vent fan and then speakers integrated in as well so if you have questions about this or any of our other geo pro rockwood uh mini light ultra light series give us a call we're more than happy to help in either our bismarck or our minot location